boys and girls. So I'm obviously not in today. Yesterday where we left off was making sure we're saving things to the proper location. Now we're going to pick up and create our very first wall section. So after you log into SketchUp and you click on Trimble Connect, under our projects we should be able to select SketchUp. And then in DDP, the folder that we have for this class, we're going to go ahead and add a model here. Oops, that's not going to work for you. Let's go home. We're going to go to Create New, and we'll add a model um, from it new. So we're in our drawing space now. We have our ukulele friend with a dinosaur t-shirt. And we're going to zoom in on the origin point, so that way we can get to drawing. Don't go so far that you lose track of his feet, but zoom in close enough where you can see. So for a wall section, we need these things called studs. So I'm going to go ahead and draw, press R for rectangle so I can start to draw my stud. Press the up arrow key so it locks into being perpendicular with this blue axis. Click and let go on the origin point. Pull the mouse out to the side. And the measurements or the dimensions we're going to use are 1.5 comma 3.5. 2x4s are not really 2x4 anymore. They used to be a long time ago, but now after milling, finishing, and pressing, um, they're not anymore. <clears throat> so this is the end of the board of the 2x4. Now we need to push-pull this to give it height. So I can go ahead and select this. Remember the face becomes dotted when it's selected. Press P for push-pull. Click and let go, start moving it up, and we're going to enter 93, enter. Hit spacebar now to exit the command. Scroll back on the mouse wheel to zoom out. If you need to, click and hold the mouse wheel, click and hold the left click, and you can rotate this around or move it around. Very good. All right, so just like with our dice now, we're going to triple click this 2 by 4 and everything should turn blue. Now I'm going to right click and make this a group. So now if I go to move <clears throat> this board around, I'm not going to lose different parts of it. Speaking of which, there's three different things on a board that let us know what part of the board we're referring to. I know it sounds silly, but this will help and this is a generally good uh, vocabulary to know for carpentry, general carpentry, rough carpentry. So if I'm looking at this board right here, this part up here is the end of the board, All right, right at the top. The widest part of the board from edge to edge right here, this is the face of the board. And then this little skinny part is the edge of the board. So right now we're going to move copies, and we're going to move them down the edge of the board. So what should happen is our wall section should look like this and not like this. We don't want to see the face of the board if we're standing outside the house. We want to see the edge of the board. Okay, The faces of the board should be facing each other. right? So the inside face here is facing the inside face here. Don't do that stuff. If you did, press Control and hold Z. I was just explaining the parts of the board. So now I'm going to go ahead and select this board. I'm going to go ahead and select this board and press M to move. And then control to move a copy. I can click that bottom corner. And as I bring it out to the side, I'm going to lock into the red axis. Type in 16. So that way the board slides down 16 inches. The next thing I'm going to do is type in times 7. So that way I get 7 copies of this. All right, so we have a bunch of wall studs right now. I just need to put the top sill and that bottom plate in, and then I'll have my wall section complete. So what I want to do now is click on this first 2x4. I can press Q to rotate a copy. Okay. Remember, we want to be on the edge of this board. So if your dial's red, that's fine. But just make sure you're on the edge of the board. <clears throat> I'm going to press Control because I'm going to rotate a copy. 
click on the top outside corner, then click anywhere down the edge of the board, and you'll yeah. see that we're rotating a copy. Best practice to enter in 90 degrees, just so the mouse yeah. won't float on you and you end up with a weird angle. So now I have one in a horizontal position. I'll press M and then Control to slide this down. As I'm sliding this down, I'll press the up arrow key to lock it into the vertical axis. I'm going to zoom in down here just to make sure I'm on the end point here. So there we are. Now there's a little cleanup over here. This first one's an easy fix. I'll press M to move. I'll click on this outside corner and I'll snap it right to the, that stud right there. Now as for this, just click on it and press delete. One last and final thing to do. I want to select all of this so that way I can make it a component so I can use it as a reference later on. So if I click and hold, this is one of the few times you'll click and hold, and drag to the right, I'll get a solid box. And what that box will allow me to do is make selections and it will grab anything that's entirely inside that box, but it will not grab something if it's just touching the box. Okay, So those three in the middle right now are the only ones inside the box if I wanted to select just those. The other way is if I click and drag to the left, anything that the box is touching will be selected. Okay? So in this case, I'm going to use the solid box, click and hold, drag to the right. I can go right through our ukulele friend there because it's not going to select him because he wasn't entirely in it. If I went this way and it just touched his toe, he's selected as well. But I don't want him in this component. So I'm going to highlight everything, right-click on the stud section, go down to Make Component, and we're going to name this Wall Section. All right. Last but not least, some of you have already had this saved as your wall section, but if you haven't, we're going to click on Save. Make sure you're going to sketch up your DDP folder, and we're going to name this wall section and then click save so now if we go to open my trimble connect click on sketchup in ddp we have our wall section okay for right now we're going to end this tutorial there'll be another one coming soon to you uh, but <clears throat> that's it for right now. Have a good day. Make sure you get this done. If you're struggling, uh, get help from somebody around you. It looks like uh, when you see their screen, they look like they know what they're doing. Uh, but do not have them do it for you. All right. Peace out.